The greatest turnaround in NCAA men's soccer history happened at Pacific, and Camden Riley was a big part of that. And Camden joins us now, and uh, let's flash back 2014. Pacific sort of revives the men's soccer program after a 30-year hiatus, we'll call it. So 2015, the next year, the second season of kind of the new era, your freshman season, and you guys win one match the entire year. How hard was that for you coming in as a freshman? I mean, just the opportunity to go to California and having such big, um, my eyes were huge, like such big eyes going to California and having this opportunity to start kind of a new program. You know, it's the second year. Um, and going and having a season like that and winning one game, it's tough. I mean, going around campus, everybody asks you how the game went and you're like, we lost again. But um, it was it was heart-wrenching, you know? And it's never fun to go and, and win one game because you put so much pride um, into what you do and um, you're representing a school and a lot of, a lot of different people. And so it was tough. It was tough to say the least. Your coach, Ryan Jordan, he kind of saw that there would be an improvement in that next year, the 2016 season. I can't imagine that you and, and Ryan and the rest of your teammates saw this kind of improvement. We're talking going from one win to 13 wins, which again, biggest turnaround in men's soccer history. Yeah, I mean, that <laughs> we, we were all amazed by it. Uh, but what Ryan Jordan kept saying was we had built a great foundation and just coming back and putting all the right pieces in the right places. And it all just, you know, worked well. And we were, we were just flying high, it felt great. So I've been at the WCC for over six years. And one of the most memorable videos that I can remember watching is you and your teammates watching the selection show, the NCAA tournament selection show that year. You didn't know that you were going to make it definitively but the reaction that you guys had when you saw your name come up and that you were gonna play Cal State Northridge, just kind of d describe that feeling for me. <laughs> I mean, the anticipation that whole day was actually insane. And um, we, the selection show was at around 10 a.m. So we had all kind of gathered in that, in the champions room at Pacific and, and watched it. and. I mean, we're all sitting there just hoping to hear our name called. And when it finally got called, everyone was like, wait, did that really just happen? And then it just like pure emotion and elation just ensued. Just the fact that we were making history for Pacific um, itself and, and just for us, it was just such a great feeling. Um, so that first round, you, you traveled to Northridge to play and your teammate Tariq Branch scored his first career goal. Uh, in the 77th minute, and that was the difference. That was the only goal of the game. How excited were you all to not only just kind of get into the tournament, but then win your first game? I think it was incredible. I mean, the whole atmosphere of getting to play your first tournament game um, as a college kid is something you look forward to um, your whole your whole life. And it was really cool. And I was so happy for Tariq and for the guys on the team. I and mean, it was just a great feeling to go down to Northridge, play in a tournament game with, with so much pressure on the line and actually go out and get a result. I mean, it just, it made the trip home so <laughs> so nice, the bus ride home. Um, in the second round, you guys fell to Stanford, who, by the way, went on to win the College Cup each of the next two years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but again, freshman year, one win, and then each of your next three seasons, you made it to the second round of the NCAA tournament when you kind of reflect back on it, do you ever just kind of think how the difference between your freshman year and kind of the, the rest of your career at Pacific and, and kind of the, the legacy that, that you've left and the foundation that, that you've built there at Pacific and um, just kind of what it was like to help build a program from the ground up? Yeah, I mean, if you told me after my freshman year that we would go to the second round of the tournament three years in a row and, and win 13 games, I would say no way, no chance. And especially to do it at such a young program, um, it was just something so special to me. It just, it meant a, so much more to be able to be the first one to kind of pave the way for the future of, you know, Pacific soccer or any program in general. And I think that is what really sticks with me and um, really resonates with um, a lot of the guys on the team and who have been around Pacific and around what we've done um, with the men's soccer program. I think we've, we've caught the attention of a lot of people. Um, maybe we're not a school that you really expect 
to go on and, and build such a great foundation to be a top, a top team in the country, but we did it and that was really cool.